Hey, yo, what's good, man? Oh, we got the Monday stream coming in. Let's see if it's actually coming in. Oh, man. I am so sick, bro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, there we go. Is the, is the audio? Audio is there. Okay. Um, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm sick. I know I've been doing a lot of this NBA 2K sim just watching, but I'm sick. I'm going to try to conserve my voice, try to be um, just, just chill today, man. <laughs> we, we, we just, we just going to try to chill. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, dude, I'm, I'm out of it, but I said I'd be here. So I'm here. You know, that's just, that's just who we are. Um, let me, let me, let me post that we're here real quick. There we go. There we go. Um, uh, we in this, we out. We out here. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I I'm sick. Uh, not doing too well. Um, and yeah, we we gonna try to try to be chill. Just watch these games. You know, commentate. Be happy, man. Um, but before we get into it, though, I, you know, do want to say change is coming. And actually, I didn't. Uh, I didn't update the schedule, but. We're going to be doing, instead of just uh, Thursday night streams, we're going to be doing, I think, Thursday and Mondays um, every week for the most part, um, except for, you know, like long weekends when I'm probably out of time with my wife or something, but, but I'm trying to stream Mondays pretty consistently since my wife has to work and I no longer have to work on Mondays anymore. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be streaming Mondays pretty consistently, uh, so yeah. You know, good. <laughs> uh, if if you guys are, or maybe you know, you don't have the time to watch on Thursdays, and you and you're finding me today, um, then hey, man, you know, I I I would definitely uh implore you to, you know, watch the uh the, the money streams, watch the Thursday streams, all that good stuff. <sighs> let me keep my water close by, actually. <laughs> Let me let me move this over here. All right. <clears throat> wow. I'm gonna try to mute myself. Anytime I gotta clear my throat. <laughs> so I don't wanna be coughing you guys here. Oh all right, man. We are here. We're streaming. Look, if you first oh yeah, before we get started actually. Uh so YouTube, um, if you're watching this year a day late, all right, uh we're going to be streaming every Thursday. Uh, the stream is going to be pushed back later. For, for those of you on Twitch, instead of us streaming at 7, we're going to start streaming probably around 10. Uh, we're going to go 10 to 2, maybe, or 10 to 1. Um, but we're going to be streaming every Monday in addition to that. Um, I'm pretty sure my headset just died. Yes, it did. Hold up here. Why, why did my headset die? Let's actually get this going. There we go. Okay. I mean, the headset got battery to it. It got some battery to it. I'm not tripping. Am I? Am I tripping? Okay. All right, let's start from the top. <laughs> uh, for those of you watching on Twitch, uh, we are officially moving our Thursday night streams to later. So instead of Thursday at 7, we're going Thursday at 10. And then we're going to be streaming Monday, middle of the day, probably 11, 12, um, middle of the day. So we can reach, you know, broader audience, more people, yada, 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 all that good stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, you're late, all right? 
um, we move the streams all over to Twitch. Uh, they go up the next day on YouTube. So you're a day behind. If you want to watch it live, head over to Twitch. Links in the description. Um, but of course, we're still going to keep the short form content. We're still going to keep the shorts and everything like that on YouTube. Uh, that's still going to be popping. But if you want to see it live, see it happen, and, and also, you know, uh, get all of it, you got to be on Twitch, right? There's some some Twitch exclusive uh, stuff happening as well. Some streams that are only going to be on Twitch. And then, of course, um, obviously, you know, all the short form content. There's some exclusive stuff on YouTube as well. Um, so, you know, if you're if you're just watching this on Twitch, hey, go check out the the YouTube, uh, you know, channel as well. Mr. Faith. Um, we got like 17,000 subs deep on YouTube. We're trying to make the switch to Twitch. Um, you know, since we hear it's a more gaming friendly environment over here. Um, kicking things off though, man, we got the one and two nuggets versus the one and two Dallas Mavericks. And honestly, it's like, when you look at these lineups, neither of these teams should be one and two, especially when Maurice Weaver, you know, almost winning defensive player of the year last season, Amin Thompson, played phenomenally for them last season. And they've always been just on the outside looking in on the playoffs. They, despite getting better players and improving their roster, <laughs> they they never actually really improve as a team. Whereas the Nuggets, you know, they started out old. They had Allen Iverson. They had um, Matumbo, who, you know, older Matumbo. They had uh, Alex English, who's, who's getting up there in age as well. Um, you know, they've had troubles with people retiring and leaving they've been kind of in a rebuild but they actually have a lot of youth coming off the bench and they're in a really good spot so you know maybe not this year uh but this year could be the the year that they you know win it all you, you never know right a, a good deep young energized bench can take you a long way all right um let's let's get into it though man Monday, everyone. Tell for all of you guys will watch on YouTube. I am uh, sick. I'm gonna be sick. Probably for the next Hill couple of these, these videos. I'm Brian Anderson. Post also with a YouTube site, game a at a time. So, oh, cool. That's Denver open. Oh, facing the Dallas Mavericks. That's a problem. Let's take a look at our starters for Denver. Got it. They've got Nikola Jokic, Carmelo Anthony out there with Murray, yeah. and it's Thompson yeah. in at the two. Thompson in at two. No good. Here's got, uh, defended by Murray. The, yep, the rookie. Goes. Such a good part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are four. only working when he seems to be on the floor. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that, that drive look easy, but that had a yeah, high of difficulty. Anthony misses. A rookie. Oh, no, no way. The rookie's under Jeff. Here's Here's Kid. Is Wilson they might have drafted. They might have started both groups. Like I said, they were, they, were, they had a lot of retired players. A lot of old people. So, you know, a lot of six. Come on the arc. Ooh. Anthony grabs Ooh. the board. And here's Denver. Meanwhile, though, it's a the Mavs, game. they get Donald the James, who um, is going to add some depth to their the bench. Um, but, uh, I mean, really, they're starting five. Well, this is probably going to be starting five. They have a young starting five, too. Let's go. This way for a long, long time. Rebound by the Nuggets. So it's like if they can't make it work with this, Thompson then passes to Murray. How will they make it work at all? You know? So they, it's important that they gel. Get together, man. Let's see what they draw up here. Off the dead ball. And in the first, a little over. We're gonna get a good idea what their actual game plan is here. Oh, oh, okay. Looks like their game plan is just sometimes there's passes and then there's precision passes. Try to utilize with one of those there. Utilize their mismatch, their big mismatch. That's Jokic on Weaver. Here's Kid. Keep in mind, I mean Weaver. Like I said, he almost was very close to winning defensive player of the year a couple seasons ago, and even last season, I mean, put on you know solid. Almost the defensive player of the year numbers. I mean, he was in the running with LeBron James and Michael Here's Jordan Kidd. and Bill Russell. Um, you know, he, so I mean, he, he is. Three. A, you know, while he's Another a much miss. lower he's overall, two now. Jokic. The Nuggets on offense. I don't think it's the mismatch that they think it is on paper. Inside. Um, but they're gonna try to abuse him here. 
Maybe, maybe stretch him out. Back to and, uh, and open up the paint. No so ball. Nice you can see they're, they're really, trying really trying to get it to him. And Curry Sweeper is actually doing a yeah, really great job. Disrupting right their game end. plan. Slowing them down. And here in the first approaching oh, three minutes play. Second team foul. So they've had a little bit of thing to think about what they want to do here off the inbound. It looks like they're going to do the same thing, pick and roll. Outside Murray. So this Here's time, oh, it's pick and pop. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Murray. Jokic so it looks like they have the option. Points. It looks like and he's doing like a little pick and fade. Pick and pop. Jokic's bag and then the Maurice step gets out there. He's going to the And Dallas calls time here. Is that a Maurice Weaver? I'm in the Mavs right here, man. All right, man. So you got a, you got a hedge, bro. Hope they don't call your bluff. Meanwhile, you're the Mavs, man. You got to get. I mean, Dirk is, you know, to Thompson. a good shooter. Everyone really here is a good shooter. You got to get him in ball. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Hey, you can't Thompson. block it. Sending him to the line can be the he's next Averaging person. a double-double this season. Good. He's been really good with the ball in his hands. Had a really good rookie season last year. His brother, not so much for the Lakers. Oh, he didn't really get a lot of play. That misses, so he splits the free throws. This year he started. The Nuggets trail. Still not really doing much. On the wing, Thompson. He doesn't have to. Man, off the front Men has to. And it goes. Well, when it comes to creative sort of, sort of. passing, Jokic is probably at the top of the list in the NBA. Who knows? We might see these guys. I mean, it, you know, we might see both these teams. Oh, the playoffs. Doncic with the chance. Hey, we might see the Mavs and the Lakers in the playoffs. You never know. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish that was angry. On the wing, Thompson, guarded by Doncic. Six on the shot clock. Oh, oh great. You know what I'm telling you, Maurice Weaver playing great defense, and I like that Doncic is. And Dallas with possession. He looked us everywhere, bro. That's the kid. Oh, now they realize they got a, a bit of a mismatch here. And the layup is good off the I like that they were able to switch that. Trust Doncic to make smart moves with the ball. He puts it in the hands of a guy with a wide open shot. they were able to switch that. Dirk on, on Jokic. You know. And here's Jokic. And he's got five. That shot, no Wilson good. Wilson on. Yeah, and the defense Weaver has really got to take advantage of that now. I mean, he's just now too he, dangerous from the three point line. They can switch it up again. That's nice double screen. Luka. Open. Oh, can't make him pay, though. And Denver the other way now. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try Starting to help him get back on track. Oh, Murray. Murray could score without dominating the ball. Jason did off the catch and shoot. Now they're running the same play this time for Thompson, though. Let's see if he can drain it. No, he cannot. It was a little deep. Thompson's gone. One pass for three on the night. Pass to Jokic. Oh, Weaver had to really get out there. But he, he was out there enough to affect the shot. Here's Kid. Now they're running that same play. Down low. This time, oh. Thompson with a steal. On the wing, he Thompson. realized he wasn't There's open three, and it falls. on that shot. Two for three from the field so far. When you let a team not get that passing many lane, threes, you know you're three on the other end. Oh, but Jason Kidd. Kidd with the bucket. Man, he's got that touch. That Murray backpedal. Shooting the ball very well. You start this one. Hey, man, Lucas starting out, what, one of five? Out left to the wing. And then the men starting out one of three. And the Mavericks with possession here. Jason Kidd's going to have to step up. Also, I mean, I want to see Dirk Kid. He's got get five. out beyond the arc as well. To the middle. Hmm. Here's Thompson. Dangerous pass. Oh. Come on, you got a man six. open. Oh, man. From deep, here's Doncic. Oh, wow. He got that to go? Man, that's something that Doncic wants to keep improving. He couldn't we stretch the fire away from distance. <laughs> he couldn't make that open shot earlier when someone was on the late closeout. He got that to go. That's crazy. Now Murray. Pass to Thompson. Ooh, a three. wide open. Yes. Mm. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Every now and then I'll look Murray's down to check to see. Like, in the game. Look at the chat. Here's Kidd. Defended by Murray. Ooh. From the baseline. Ooh. Here's Nowitzki. And the layup is good. 
but he seems to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, every now and then. More often oh. than anybody that's on the court here tonight. You see that payoff. I'll look down and look at the chat. And all of a sudden, I'll just like, nice look back up, and there's just a wide open person in the corner okay. getting the ball fed to him. Uh oh. Oh, great. Hey, so far, the Nuggets are keeping themselves in this with turnovers. Shoots over Thompson. Anthony mm. with a bucket. Defense finding it hard to Long get to two. Carmelo right now, especially in the pull up game. Even if they're, they're doing keeping their themselves best, in this with turnovers. Still beating them with better offense. It's all the defense. They're forcing missed shots. They're running that play again, though. It's clearly a part of the Mavericks game plan. A nice double screen. Across the top, getting Luka Thompson open. Watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Oh, and they get it back. The Nuggets came in to, with a plan on shot is good. Ooh, and I love that trying to spread. stress That's Weaver, Murray's but bread and butter stretching out the defense. He was way behind the arc. It hasn't been working out as well for them. Look again Don't with that double outside. screen. And now Luca and Jamal Murray oh, picks wow. up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the like he was going to come play at Weaver in the back door. In. The Nuggets making a switch here. Now we're seeing some people come in off the bench. So we got Up top, Eric Thompson. Harper on the wing. in for the Mavs. And there's Doncic. That's good. All the assists. And then we by got. Thompson. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead uh, right now. He wants more. We got Jackson. Looks like he's going to get fat lever. And for the Nuggets. Here's Lever. Oh, we had, I know it's Lever. And that's another three for Denver. Three. These teams have really gone back in the and forth. Spot too. Oh, yeah. Five lead changes he's already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Fires the oh, three. that was too open. And it's oh. Denver with a rebound. Jokic Nuggets fortunate in the game. they didn't have to pay for that lackadaisical D and oh look at oh Maurice Weaver has been miraculously defending so much and despite the Mavs not being able to make even open shots on the offensive end he's kept them in this defensively Ooh. defense from the Mavericks as well Are you going to put that up over three people and make it? Yo, I meant Thompson, bro. The Nuggets on offense. He's definitely going to be a talent. So his career is going to be a good one to watch, man. He's got a lot of potential. Now we got the full swap. So now we got Lever, Jackson, Jeffries. There's McDice. McDice. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws. Up there for the Nuggets, and then we got Ashburn, Harper. This one falls for him. Uh, Aguirre. So he makes both from the James line. out there for the Mavs, but Weaver the still in this. He thing. Like He's been red hot defense. Man, you gotta leave him in. He's having a great game. Oh, here's Harper. Pass to Mashburn. Oh, that's. What I said that'd be Off crazy. With the three. That went. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Oh, fast break. They had it. Oh, a, a two on one kind of opportunity. There. Excellent defense. And quickly became two on three. Though. The Mavs got back deep for that. I ain't got a little bit of mouse and mouse situation here. From deep three Maybe, point range. No, they're still gonna go and out. It's Denver with hmm. a rebound. Maybe a little false confidence there. Donald James, the rookie that the Mavs Coaches drafted. Will tell you that's a bad shot. That they, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> as they said, has a lot of athleticism despite being a big kid on the size. And giving it back. We'll see if they can hold the same. He's gonna, gonna have some. Well, you can tell they really generate some explosive plays for him this season already. Keep letting them take it from them. Two open that time. play there and now. And he was like, guys, come on, two. I can't be the only one well, playing defense. Well, certainly been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> you do the ball in James' hands, they let him do what he does. Feels like we have a lead change but like, okay. Oh, oh, he's a rookie, so he's got to, he's got to know when to pass that out. He's in the paint right now. Oh! Oh! Everyone loves the alley play, B.A. 
Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. <laughs> over the, the, the behind the head. Alley pass there. That well, pass was pretty. Yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Jeffries. You got rookie on rookie here. Yeah, Jeffries on James. Layup. That's the kind of pass you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get well, these guys assists. were drafted around the same. Same spot, too. So Nuggets drafted at 12. From deep. Uh, from Mavericks drafted at 12. Well, Mavericks got five. 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 So Not where he earns his money. That's a top point shot. Pit. But he's a good shooter. And I, uh, to be honest, I think James space. doesn't really. He kind of oversells uh, a the little bit. Of me. Um, he's yeah, he's a top five draft pick, but I, I don't know if he was actually a top five prospect. That's the thing. Here's Aguirre. Last possession of the quarter here. They're up one, so they don't really have to force anything. The oh, but he's going to get a nice pick. No good there. Wide open from three. I think he rushed it. They weren't able to convert. Up one at home. You need this to, to get back to 500. I, I think that the Mavs win this one here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nuggets win. It was an 11-point game. Um... And really, I mean, yeah, the, the Mavs came out shooting a low percentage from beyond the arc in that first quarter, and they just continued to shoot a low percentage until the fourth quarter. Um, but it wasn't enough. Um, you know, it was pretty much actually kind of a, a blowout. I mean, they were already up <laughs> eight, and then up another two, and then up another one, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mavs pretty much had no chance after the, after a half. Um, Nuggets, I mean, yeah, they, they won the battle on the boards, which the Mavericks kind of expecting to give up to the Nuggets. But and then the Mavericks bench, bro, look at the look at the bench differential. It's really your starting five. And when we talk about this is their starting five for seasons to come, their starting five has to step up, bro. You know. Um, so they they got to figure that out. And they got to figure it out quick. They were. Drawing up good plays, getting good open shots, just couldn't get them to drop. Uh, meanwhile, Nuggets were forcing turnovers uh, really heavy in that first quarter. Getting to the line, they were shooting even shots that that you know they should have been shooting were falling for them. And when, when things are clicking like that, you know you're bound to win the game. So let's take a look at the box score. Luca dropped 22 on them. Um, finally, you know, uh, kid. Had a double double with four steals. You know, Dirk had nine rebounds, multiple steals, but he went four of 12. You know, so it's like he's he's got to get more involved and he's got to make more of his shots, man. Um, and then when you got guys off the bench, deep off the bench coming in next after that, it's a troubling sign, man. You know, like where where is Donald James? Where is why are these guys not more involved? Especially when you got a guy that's going four of twelve consistent. Why aren't you getting these guys that are shooting at higher percentages more of a chance? You know? There shouldn't be two guys that are shooting 30, 20 percent, you know, overall for for the whole team getting all these looks. It just shouldn't happen. Meanwhile, you know, over for the Nuggets, I mean David Thompson scorched Luca with, with twenty six points. Um, Jamal Murray had a double double. Jokic had a triple double. Seventeen points, ten rebounds, eleven assists. I mean, yeah, their their game plan was clear that they wanted to exploit that mismatch. And hey, they were Weaver was was standing up to him at first, but they must have worn him down uh, going into the fourth. You know, Carmelo had fifteen points, nine rebounds, six assists, multiple blocks. Like he was involved. And then you had Alex English and Danny Easel off the bench, you know, going to work. You had, um, you know, Jalen Wilson, three of five from here, like stress, you know, spreading the floor. Um, everybody got involved, top to bottom. You know, Lever off the bench had eight assists. Like everyone knew their role and they stuck to it and they executed the game plan. And long term, it paid off for them.
Anybody watching the stream, man, how's your Monday going? Oh, hate being sick. But, you know, that, that's how it is, man. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, we got two two and one teams. Yo, the Jazz starting out 0 oh, 1. Now they're 2 and 1. And then you got the Trailblazers actually at 2 and 1. Let's see what that looks like. All right, up next, we got the two and one all time Trailblazers versus the two and one all time Jazz. You see, we switched Pete Maravich and John Stockton, uh, point guard to shooting guard, shooting guard to point guard, respectively. And then they got Bill Colabali, whatever his name is, coming, uh, giving them some outside help. Um, and then you still got Andre Karolinko and you still got Carl Malone as your bigs. Uh, maybe a little undersized, but Carl's got a lot of power uh, to compete with with a lot of these big men. You know, meanwhile, for the Blazers, um, they were kind of undersized. They switched their lineup, drafting Dante Lawrence this year. You know, gives them the ability to put Clyde back at the three. Then you got Sensiball at the two, Damian Lillard at the one, and you got Bill Walton at the center. And then off the bench, they're even deep with George Petrie and, and all the people they got off the bench, you know? <laughs> Um, so, I mean, yeah, Trailblazers this year definitely have their best lineup so far and still have so much improvement, like their franchise, they're, they're like, like they're the way they're expecting these younger players to develop. They're only looking up. They might not even make the playoffs this year, but they're still happy with how things are going in the direction that their franchise is, is going year after year from the bottom in the West to now kind of middle of the pack. And they're only getting better. We meanwhile the Jazz, you know, they've just kind of been stagnant, staying at the middle of the pack. They're looking to to make the change with Pete and John this year, and and hopefully that actually does make a change. Um, so who's gonna win this one? I don't know. If Pete and John can, I say this all the time. It's the if NBA Pete and John Sports, can be on the same page, this Jazz team. Scary, this is Kevin right? Harlan alongside they win the tip Kellogg off here. And Greg Anthony. DA will join I mean, us look at that. On the mm. It's the Portland Trail Blazers. Mm. I think what it is, Pete, Jazz. he's looking to shoot. Pete's a high usage guy. He's They've got the ball in his hands to do well. He was a bit of a defensive Lawrence liability at the two. Position. He was mm. all alone on that one. And an eye for an eye. At the one. Walking. To stretch the you know, he's, he's like kind of long enough he can back. make up for One team his gets lack three, of... You fire three of your own. Oh. Ooh. And again, it's the jazz from uh, lateral quickness, you know. One of the most and then, of course, he's always looking to make his shot. The game. And finding that putting the ball in his hands, he doesn't feel like he has to shoot every time he touches the ball. Now he gets to screen on Stockton. dribble. He used to make people miss. And... Yeah, Ooh. To pick up right away here oh. In the first quarter. They still get to go. Well, that's okay. not how you screen for your guys, but hmm. ultimately... They still found a way to come away with the hoop. Portland shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. You know, what makes hmm. Walton special isn't just his physical gifts, and there are many of those. It's how well and he And John Stockton is to, he's smart gets to be, you know, get some pass from angles, and now you get to be the switch up, impact. right? Where John Stockton gets to drive, take it to Malone. And, and that'll be Utah as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, I think, I think this team is, and, and John Stockton was, you know, he's 6'1". A defensive play like he's that, solid early enough in the game, defender to can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game, like Pete Maravich basically was. And now, just over a minute. Oh, oh, sensible though. 
Last year did not have a Nasty great rookie direction. season. This, one for three. this year, oh, the foul. Almost hit the three you know, point he made the same. He was looking to turn it around. Still made the starting lineup. Nice little move that time, baiting the defender in Each tight, so. then drawing the foul. He's got to be doing something right. He hits the second from the line. Now he gets to. Looks like he's gonna shoot for three here. Let's see who's fouled from D. And hey, that's a points. win for the Jazz, man. And get get him to miss one. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. Kirilenko with the screen for Stockton. Oh, oh, <laughs> Stockton got him jumping. But he knows he's got a three-second clock there, Lawrence. and he's covered by Stockton. He couldn't really get much to to go. To the left wing. No one was really doing anything. Screen on Kirilenko. Oh wow! Good to see yeah, trying to take that up over the trees. The His team appreciates that type Kirilenko of and, and Malone both the there to send that back. Reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Look, hey, look, look at the, the passing, Pete. Like the creativity that Pete gives you. And with this team, it's all and look, bam, transition and bam. Team speed. The movement he gives you on offense. We got to be off to the races. This has to be a track. So we may have a wild one tonight, Kevin. Back you know, to I think I think this team is better when the ball's in his hands. Moving on the point just feels more natural. Oh. And he's not a total liability, but the one he's not getting completely blown by. And it's enough that Malone can actually play help D. And then look, bam! And the Jazz, another three. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter? He's doing he's a much more job efficient, man. In terms of leading, Irvich and Saka can be efficient now, together. This team is dead. Oh, oh, way to stick in there, though. Drexler. So makes it look effortless, but he love does that, have to get that hustle. inside to beat that contact. The pass to Malone. Over Walton. Oh, no, that's not going to go. Shot is Bill Walton's no slouch. Right wing, shot from oh, 16. Here's their rookie. No good that time. Dante so Lawrence gives him a, another big man, but more than just... You know, having a big man. Ooh. Dante Lawrence is arguably yeah, you know, say one of the better picks in this draft. I mean, Trailblazers were able to get him at four. That's probably his true value. Um, you know, maybe four or three. Uh, you know, so expect him to, to do great things. Hopefully he can stay injury free. Have a nice long career for them. To the paint. Here's oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Already the rookie making an impact with a fantastic block. But good on the Jazz. It's a broken play. Jazz also looking good. I mean, drafting uh, Sean Simmons, who, um, the, you know, they were the third pick. The Trailblazers were the fourth pick. <laughs> so, for you know, he seems to be bottom of the league last season. And, he stays and now they're both down it goes. You know, it's their two and one. Now three for it's four. a good time for both teams. So for the Jazz, their last game, a win against the Warriors in San Francisco. Utah calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get the high rate or high rate for the first time. The Jazz is going to take a timeout. A basketball still to be played here. Because while it is tied, I mean, they've, point. Without they've made the best of luck on some uh, run out of gas. some broken Down plays. Of a game. And that's something they got to kind of clean it up. Stockton with it. Oh, that's a good foul by the rookie Lawrence. I don't like that he has that wherewithal there to know that he's talking about the score from him. Feeds it to Malone. Oh, oh. Malone over oh, this two is people. Bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really get it bad. To he's stone cold this boy. Man. Lillard yeah, so outside. I'm Malone. You got to work on passing that out. Pass it back out. Buddy. Lillard's got five men. Just focusing on the out. task at hand. This is some That's all we can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Lillard yeah. fighting over the screen because he knows. He's got Maravich is scorching himself. Maravich is going to say, okay, you're going to fight over. Five to start. I 
think I'll drive it when he's in the zone. I think they've got to consider yeah, he's five for five. going a few different Start. looks his way early on, especially if he keeps shooting like he's, this. He's definitely he's much better with the ball in his hand. I think when he's better, the team's direction. better. Shot clock at five. Over in the corner, Lillard. This is the three. Well it's defended there. Here. Williams called all in. He's going to shoot wide open right from beyond the yard. Someone who stops the ball. Malone makes great decisions when he passes. Walton is screwed on Maravich. Oh, Malone getting out there to, to defend Lillard. No one was in to get the rebound. Bill Walton is going to eat there. But, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Now here's Stockton, still getting warmed up. So far, no scoring yet from him. I think Dante Lawrence's right presence is being felt. I mean, Bill Walton passes it to Lawrence. Has been able to successfully defend and and Fires for three. Ooh, and has been able to and has been under much less stress with Dante Lawrence there. Right now, he's the reason. Over in the corner, Kirilenko you know, on the wing. This Malone. is a tie game. He's taking things it's over. Ooh. And Maravich is such a great scorer. All eyes are on him. His eyes are on his teammates. A tremendous Good hoop there, right over the wall. And that's how I was praising. And to Lillard. Here's oh, wow. <laughs> Beat Maravich. Lillard's got his third basket of the night right there. It was just on the skate. And guys, that's lucky. <laughs> that's that nice little step up from Damian Lillard. So Utah ends up he goes right on by and he's behind them. Now we see some guys coming in. Oh! And the ball control Williams. is incredible. Superb at creating shots for himself. Gives him a ton of athleticism. And on the at and From the point, then they got Griffith. You can see they got Adrian Danley. Offensive rebound. Oh. They got the, the rookie Simmons. They had Gordon Hayward as well. He's getting right to the win. At least they save the layup. Old school D right there. Just tell him no easy layup. Meanwhile, for the Trailblazers, you got you Sabonis coming there. in. Bill Walton's going to move the four. Now here's Williams. Oh, yeah. Petrie. Williams has got five. And you also got, I think, Barry Carroll. Barry Carroll. Williams makes decisions. If the D is laying off of him, he makes them pay with that pull-up J. Here's Drexler. Mm. And Drexler's and still going to be in there so as well. And look at him. He gets the bucket. Strong for him to eat. Here early, four of his first five main. Williams he seems going back and forth. Pass to Hayward. Oh, Gordon Hayward. Wow, I actually got that to go. Bill Walton was all over that. They still got that to go. Here's Petrie. He's been quiet so far. Still no Petrie doesn't even need the screen. He doesn't even need to scream. He's going to find his way to the rack. I will say this about the Trailblazers. They, they have a nice outside presence when they're starting fives on the floor. When their bitch is on the floor, though, it's all about the drive and kick. He's off on that one. Nice so it's, you know, two different Sabonis. looks. And it's they kind of prosper in just about any situation. They trail by one. Jazz, Here's on the other one. hand, I mean, they're... The shot from the low post is good. Yeah. He's got he playing. He talked about a back-and-forth game. Kind of small this playing kind of big. You have to love these mm -hmm. kinds of games. Scoring wise. Could be a different look for them here. On their toes. Now here's Johnson was almost much needed. Five points in the game. Let's see if he can make an impact. Outside for Simmons. From deep. And you Ooh. Out. And that's why you get yourself a big man that can stretch the floor. He's going to be something for them, man. Got to do a better job uh, Carl Malone, as he's getting up there in age. Ooh. Sean Simmons is going to be really good for this jazz team. Outside, Simmons. I'm going to try to talk a little less. Williams passes to Dantley. There's some sort. Oh, 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 but he's six with it. Simmons, I don't know why he didn't take the shot there. Oh, wow, he's got Bill Walton jumping. And it's good, assisting on the play with Simmons. Hayward's got five. Broken play. You know, he may 
might not be the biggest, most physical guy, Utah but Hayward Jazz, can score inside with the rest of them because he's strong enough. Even off the bench. He's really crafty. Oh, and Walton throws it down. plays doesn't really matter. Just stick with it. distribution there. I mean, what they find a way to get a bucket. Only they can tighten up their defense, you know? One-fourth team left here in the first quarter. Oh, oh. The rebound by oh. Walton. Sabonis able to defend that. Six rebounds in the game. And there's the call on Gordon Hayward. Oh, Gordon Hayward. Wow. That's his first foul for the Trailblazers. Well, Marcus Aldridge, he's checking now, for I think. And Jerome Kirsten well, subbed in for Clyde Drexler. Drexler coming out for Percy and Aldridge. Right in the first quarter of the game. There's the pass to Petrie. So near full Aldridge bench was keeping up right a couple lane. of starters. And again, it's Portland with the three. You gotta feel good if you're the Utah Jazz team. One of the you got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness. Yeah, so you know what? Defense. Always in attack mode. William Defense is traveling, so they have him. <laughs> and Simmons kicks to Hayward. They have him in defense. And again, Ooh. it's the Jazz from deep. This is why Hayward makes the big bucks, folks. It's so not sorry. just about making shots. It's about making shots we know their in the biggest moments. Aldridge with a screen on Williams. Oh, what a great cut. Hayward with some nice D. Nice little crossover on the screen. Couldn't make a pay though. Advantage in terms of aggression and control. Hayward. And the trend they love to continue right through. He's undersized for four as well. But uh, so quick and so agile. Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. The Trailblazers starting to their last season. Five and six. First free throw is good. Did not get started this season. He said, you know what? He's all about doing what's best for the team. And so he hits both. And uh, he thinks that he can and have more Utah opportunities and possession. do better things, you know, off the bench. So he said he looks forward to it. Oh, a three ball. And the <laughs> if he would have got that, it dropped. That would have been crazy. Up one at home. They've been able to get things popping off of broken plays. I think that they'll get things to start working and pick things up. And I think also as well, the Trailblazers were just playing like outrageous defense. I don't really know if they're going to keep that up. And I don't really know if they're going to be able to keep up um, like the pace that they were pushing uh, with Damian Lillard. But yeah, you never know. Um, I, I think Utah is going to walk away with the W here. That's that's my guess. Last a 10 point win for the Utah Jazz, shooting overall 68% from three. If you're the Trailblazers, you can't even be mad at that. Like, to be on the road and to lose by 10 points when your opponent shot 68% from three. You should have lost by 30 points, giving up 68% from three. But you didn't. You only lost by 10 points. Like, that's that's the way the Trailblazers should be looking at this, you know. Um, I mean, <laughs> 21 of 31. It's not even like they took a whole bunch of threes. They just made everything they took, which is crazy. Um, and then on top of that, they, they won the, the battle of the boards. You know, their bench balled out. They moved the ball well. Um, the Trailblazers really kept themselves in this by forcing a ton of turnovers. They just couldn't really capitalize off the turnovers. Um, and maybe that's that's probably the biggest difference maker right there. Uh, let's take a look at the box score, though. It's going to tell us a better story here. I mean, Clyde had 25 on 11 and 17. Bill had 21 and 12 rebounds and three blocks on 9 of 12. Barry Carroll even had 15 points. But it was Damian Lillard who only had 14 on the night. Yes, he did have 10 assists, but he went 5 of 14. More specifically, 4 of 11 from beyond the arc. So Pete Maravich at the 1 is not a, a defensive liability like he was at the 2. We know this from this from this box score here, right? Um, I mean, look at everyone's numbers. Like They're, they're really not horrible percentages and then on top of that people are getting rebounds they're getting assists they're getting steals like since about five steals lawrence had three steals and two blocks like they're they're all doing their part you know you just had randolph go 05 
Aldridge go one of six, but more importantly, your star, Damian Lillard, go five of 14 on the night. Um, but to have all that happen and still only lose 10 points uh, by 10, I mean, you know, Trailblazers, you know, they, they, they can't be mad at that, right? That, that's got to give them a little bit of confidence of, okay, let's try to work harder to maybe not have Dame feel like he's got to take these shots. Um, and, 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 you know, hope his efficiency increases and then everyone else will get better around him, you know, and, and tighten it up by the end of the season. And they'll, they'll be a force for sure. Meanwhile, though, <laughs> Pete was a perfect five for five from beyond the arc, a perfect 12 for 12 overall. Didn't miss a single shot on the night. You know, when I say that he, the team is better when the ball is in his hands, I truly mean it. <laughs> I mean, this is a guy that was going, uh, you know, five of 17 consistently last season. Now he's going 12 of 12, right? And getting multiple steals, something he wasn't doing last season as well. Um, Gordon Hayward had 17 off the bench, lit it up. You know, Malone, despite a slow, slow start, still had 17 points, racked up a couple blocks. Karolinko went double digits with assists. Um, which is crazy from the four spot. Dantley still had, went four of eight. John Stockton, yeah, sure, he went three of nine, but he still had eight rebounds from the shooting guard spot at 6-1 and still had seven assists and two steals. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this team is is deadly when Pete Maravich has the ball. And then you had Calaboli only missing one shot on the night. You know, Williams getting eight assists off the the uh, bench. Simmons getting seven rebounds off the bench is a good sign for their future. Because um, he's inevitably going to end up replacing Carl Malone, who got seven rebounds starting. So, yeah. Uh, if you're the Jazz, really, if you're both these teams, you're both, I think you, you both got to be happy with tonight's result. Obviously, the Jazz more so, but um, you both got to be excited for the future of your franchise. If, if you're a fan, a player, any member of this organization, uh, both of them got to be sad with that result. Well, that was that was the end of that day. Okay. No one has a like. Uh, two, two, one, and two teams. Okay, and then uh, two, one, and three teams. Two, three, and one teams. That's gonna be good to watch. Um, and then that's that's it. Okay, so the Bulls starting out horrible. Two of two, even though Jordan's dropping thirty-one points a game. Which is crazy. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Who's who? Oh, the Wizards and the, the Knicks. All right, up next, we got the Wizards. Sorry. We got the all-time Wizards versus the all-time Knicks here. Both these teams are one and two. Um, Wizards uh, disappointed one and two, man, after after being, what, second in the East last season uh, and then taking a, a first-round exit and then starting this season off one and two. Uh, right now they got to be ticked. They're looking to steal one on the road. Um, whereas the Knicks, 
I mean, you know, they're a team that's they've been rebuilding for a little bit. They were very old to start the franchise. Um, now they got Curtis Anthony. They got Paul Nixon, their rookie, uh, coming in. You know, they're finally getting a little bit of youth in this lineup. They're hoping to finally get back into the playoffs after, what, three, four seasons of missing the playoffs with this team. Um, but going one of two, not looking well for them. But, they, you know, you got to give Paul Nixon, you know, the time, to, the rookie time to mesh, especially if you're throwing him into the fire starting off rip. But, uh, you know, they're hoping that they can at least be a team that isn't 500 at home here tonight. Welcome. The 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up with two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson. Alan here you you better tip on the We've got the Washington Wizards facing the New York Knicks. And now the Washington there Wizards you starters. There you go. Yeah, you ain't out there now. Look, look. Oh, Carmelo already getting double. Here's Nixon. And Sends look at the lax of days of the Washington. That's kind of their MO. Right, this Washington team. That's what they do. They're all about offense. Right. They uh, don't care to play defense at all. Their whole thing is we're going to score every time they're in the court. They will live and die by that philosophy. Frazier shot is off. Outside wall. Hayes with a screen. Jacks up a three. Ooh. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. So far going 0 of 2. Here's Nixon. Very nice characteristic. <laughs> and this Wizards team here. The top of the key hmm. jumper is on the mark. Such a multi talented threat on the offensive end. And you love his confidence. Here's Arenas for three. Hey, that's a good. Coming on the assist by Wall. They went 0 2, now, but make no mistake. You give him a sliver of space. On time and on target creates an easy look for his teammate. Frazier. Ooh. That was a circus pass right there. With Wall. accuracy. Oh, oh, but then he lost control. Pass to Nixon. Five on the clock. Rookie Nixon. Here's Back Anthony. to the second year, man. Perfection with the jumper from the elbow. You know, outstanding. Anthony star. able to get to go. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Mm. And there's a pick. Mm. Here's Arenas. Hayes with a screen. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. He's got five. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Mm. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Hayes, the pass to Wall. Step back and fire. Kept alive by Washington. Ooh, that's John Arena. Wall. Three look at him Beal. passing the ball. From distance. Well, that's Finding an so open man. They missed their no first problem. two shots. And they're still up on this. And here's Anthony. I mean, their offense is potent. You're the Knicks. You gotta make make the most of your offensive possessions for sure against a team that doesn't really care about playing defense. You gotta make them pay for that. Right back with their own three pointer. Both teams are starting to find a little rush on offense. And this is partly what the That's how you beat this. Because we're just seeing no rush on offense. Give yourself a chance to get set. Here's Arena on defense. Five points in the game. A basket. Here's Wall. If you don't get set on defense, that went off the back iron and out. This Wizards team will take advantage of you. Uh, Wall's cold, sir. They gotta find out who's gonna step and up. Here's Anthony. Hills and pounded by Beal. Beal. There's so much respect for Carmelo Anthony. Bro. Like off the rip, dude was getting double in his first possession of the game. He gets in the post, he's getting double. We're just over three and a half minutes into this first finish. quarter. Is the question. Oh, yeah, getting doubled again. Anthony in the post. He's still <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, my gosh. They're literally doubling him. And he's just dribbling through traffic, dribbling around everybody. No good on the shot. New York goes the other way with it. Still getting the bucket. Throwing it down over top of Sydney. Well, it doesn't really much matter. 
and stolen by Hayes. Pass to Arenas from downtown. Ooh. Oh, he yeah, nails somebody. that one. Three for four. He had his choice there. Bradley Bill or Gilbert Arenas. Either one of them. Here's on Either side. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet. You in don't want to be in transition against this Wizards team. Now man. Anthony. Look, he'll, he'll get doubled again. Shoots over Beal. Ooh, a little <laughs> Shoots over a both people. He doesn't. He gives zero fluffs. Literally zero, zero fluffs given by Carmelo right now. To Beal. From about 19. Mm. Couldn't, couldn't make the pass up. It's Chris was needed converting. to. I mean, even Cole, bro. Is part of John Wall's game. Very John Wall is still going to rise and fire. They set the pick. Ooh, double screen. Here's Frazier. Tips. Oh, Frazier. Oh. I think he he, he kind of stuttered. He was expecting. Here's Wall. Ooh. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. He was expecting up and to jump, but he didn't. And then, again, in transition. So the squad is dangerous. Ball. They're going to run it back on that double screen. Here's this time, Ball he's just going to put it up. Shot is off. Nice D oh, from man. Beal. Just a chess match between Wall Frazier and the bigs of, Inside. of the Wizards here. Here's Hayes. We got three seconds here. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. Kind of had to get something going. going. I mean, he could have passed it back out. Here's Ewing. Oh, wow. I would say, if you're the Knicks, really, just go to work down low with these guys. Here's Ewing. He's defended by Hayes. And Ewing gets it to go. Now, there's no way Elvin Hayes should be able to defend has. I mean, Patrick he Ewing. Easily see over the defense. At all. And he has got such good touch from that medium range area. It's an option oh, that you wow. always go to. Oh, wow. Wes Unsell, 6'7", getting the rebound over Patrick Ewing. Outside wall. Five to shoot. Oh, that's a bad shot. He can't get Especially when you had Gilbert the Arenas. Go the other way with it. Or Bradley Bill. Pass to basically Anthony. wide to open the left side York. It would have been a tough pass, but oh now look, mouse in the house. Mm. Another one falls for New York. So much attention drawn by Mello. Able to create the opportunity for his teammate. Now a timeout call by the Wizards rightfully. Taking a timeout here. I'm the coach. I'm discussing. Hey, John. Richardson comes in for Frazier. Clear. You're, you're not on fire the tonight. Monroe right. checked in for Wall. A couple of guys. But wide open beyond the arc. You better make that extra pass, boy. Here's Monroe. <laughs> pass to Beal. Otherwise, I'm taking you. I'm taking you out the game, bro. I'm gonna bench you. Oh, they did bench him. Oh, dang. They didn't even give him that. They just benched him right off rip. So bench John Wall. Nick's got a couple guys Anthony. off the bench. Richardson, Guerin, the Willis Reed. Pass to Monroe. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Anthony with He's it. saying, hey, man, we're going to substitute half the bench in. Now, Anthony. They Still going to dominate you real quick. All we need is Melo right now. He's, doing, he's going to work. To Richardson. Six to shoot. Anthony in the post. Oh, that's a go. No good yes. from 11 feet. Boy, against What's that, so bro? He is no slouch. You have to convert that. He's super strong. He's undersized, but he's super strong. Has to be Billy Bill, wide open. Three. That's a buck here. On target from range. Beal's got six points. Well, off the screen, you can see Bradley Beal is shot. Maybe John Wall can play hero ball. He's playing against some, some bench runners. But I love how the Knicks took, ooh, took Walt Frazier, put Richardson. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. So John Wall isn't going to have that. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Pass to Hayes. Now Beal. He's guarded by Anthony. And mm, Beal nice gets it to go on the assist Bill. by Hayes. Give him eight. I like the commitment from Bradley Beal to take it inside and attack the defender. After this, this game, we're going to grab it and kickstart and get that boost of energy. I look at Melo getting double. Nixon wide open. Oh, wow. Oh! 
Look at look at the stare down. Read on defense to come up with the block. Elvin Hayes. You can't ask for any uh. better defense than that. He Gonna send that so to the stands. <laughs> Gonna stare down Carmelo as he does it now. We got a full swap here uh, for the Wizards. And I think a full swap for the Knicks, too. Yeah, so Grady Dick, Richie Guerin, uh, Davis Jackson, I believe is his name, all coming off the bench There's a for the screen. Knicks. He got ruling. Ooh. Oh, Harris with the block. Mark, Marin, uh, Chenier, and then Hawkins, I believe, uh, for Wizards. Grady Dick, by the way, really good, really good player. From behind the arc, um, buries it from surprise three. Surprise to that. And now a three point the Knicks took lead. him. Don't want to let off him get into a rhythm for, from out there. For Nixon, I mean, Nixon, don't get me wrong. Uh, we heard a lot, saw a lot of good things about him in college, but Grady did really good for him. By Harris. Last season. Six on the shot clock. Uh, did really, really good for him. So Goes just up and lays there. it in nice and easy. Pounding it inside. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a lot from this. Because he has to shoot Brady this year. I mean, look at Brady for the two. And pulls it so down. So long for the two. 152 left in the first quarter. And he's going for the lob. Mm. I mean, uh, he just crossed that. He just he sees the floor so well. Two spot, dude. He's he's got a minute 39 left to play in the first quarter. Playing shooting guard. Pass to Shanier. I mean, look. Let's the three oh, fly. Wow. And the Wizards oh, I like how he just kind of worked three. himself back out. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering He's those so shoes. good at driving. Nobody really wanted to give him the, the opportunity, so he just said, all right, I'll take it out. Now here's Richardson. Oh, that's not a good look. Oh, Willis Reed. I saw that shove. The Wizards with a lead. And hey, you're the Wizards on the road. Here's haven't the road. had the best sh efficiency shooting the ball. And you're still up. I'm liking my odds for the rest of this game right here. Especially since they got uh, you know opportunity to come. Fifty eight seconds left to play in the first. Team. They do. Ooh. Ooh. Top, it's basically Oop City here. <laughs> oh, great got these short, right there. Hey, you got a lot of athletic bringing it down with some centers. Power forwards. They can really get up there surprisingly. Ooh. Let's read that. <laughs> not, not, not playing. And I was going to say the Knicks had a two for one opportunity if they rush. And, and they took no time to score there. Here's Monroe. And it's Washington with another. <laughs> this night already has the Honestly, makings of an offensive of war. Here. They score well, the, the next fans one. Love it. Coaches Five may not seconds. like the lack of defense, but really boy, the rushing. rules promote scoring, no doubt. Here's oh, back to Willis Reed. They know they have a mismatch on the, the floor. They plan on time. using it. The ruling, hey, he's, he's fine with that. Oh. Oh. Down low. Here's Harris. And yeah. he drops yeah, that's the mismatch from for the them. Post. Aaron's a little yeah, undersized. They got four Washington seconds lead. here. They got to chuck up a shot ball. here. Oh. Between the oh. <laughs> oh, they almost got that. Yeah, man. Down six um, against a team who's known for their ability to put on a, a lot of offense. Um, and you held them to, to, you know, 30 points and you still down. Like, I, I, it's not looking good for the Knicks here. I'd be very surprised if they won. <laughs> and surprised I am, man. Uh, how'd they do it? Well, they just got to the line a bunch. I, I don't, I don't get it. Just, I mean, they, they edged them out on rebounds. I mean, it's a seven point game. Turnovers. Oh yeah, look at that. An extra ten possessions off turnovers. And they edged them out on rebounds. And their bench buried them by 13 points. Um, 
Jets, and yeah, their their bench pretty much did it all for them. I mean, they were down ten at half, and then gave it all up in that third quarter. Down two, and then after that, the Knicks just poured it on. Wow. Yeah, I mean, look at the difference in assists, and the bench really killed him in the fourth. Really can in the turnover differential in the fourth. Yeah, that, that's that's what did it. Wow. Uh, Bradley Beal, twenty three points. Gilbert Arenas, oh, seven and nine by the way. Gilbert Arenas, twenty two points, nine of seventeen. Not not the best, but not bad. John Wall went five of thirteen. You can't have that. Yeah, he went three of six from beyond the arc, but he went five of thirteen overall. Man, there was definitely some times he he should have been making more passes. We want to see more from him on that front. Um, Elvin Hayes, though, I just want to point out three blocks on Patrick Ewing. That's impressive. Okay. For that size differential, that, that that's impressive on the night. Three blocks is impressive in general. Um, elite. But but for him on this particular night to get that, very impressive. Um, but Carmelo, I mean, it's absolutely eight, man. He was getting doubled from the jump. It didn't really much matter. He was scoring over two people. He was taking it up over them. He was fading over them from deep. You know, he he was really any time he wanted to score, he scored. He went five or seven from beyond the arc, and then because he was getting doubled, easy passes for assists. I mean, nine assists on the night. Uh, Willis Reed had twenty two points off the bench. They realized that mismatch was was happening down low. They took advantage of that immediately. Patrick Ewing had a double double with rebounds, um, but also I mean Curtis Anthony had a couple blocks, good rebound numbers for them as well. Um, Richie Guerin had had a solid stat line. Tracy Jackson Davis went three of four. Walt Frazier had four steals. Um, I, I mean, you know Richardson two of two. <laughs> uh, yeah, Paul Nixon, sure, he had two blocks, he had a steal, he had a couple assists, a couple rebounds, whatever. But he went one of five. I don't know why you take him out for Grady Dick, but then again, Grady Dick did literally nothing this game. So, I mean, Paul Nixon continues to prove why he, he should start over Grady Dick at least, but I, I don't know. I mean, what what's what's the... He's 6'6". Six, six. What's Grady Dick? Grady Dick, 6'8", bro. 6'8". Yeah, maybe he should be playing small forward. You know, especially since Carmelo's 32. I, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's the, the change they need to make. Matter of fact, we'll, we'll do that for him now. We'll do that for him now. Because also, and then like, they got... Davis Jackson, this dude six nine. He playing the power forward. What's his his overall potential? I mean, these guys got major potential, yeah. But let's let's put him and let's let's make him the small forward. Since we know he can do it. Yeah, right, let's let's give them that. Cause this dude's thirty. This dude's thirty one. This dude's thirty one. It's thirty one. It's like yeah, they need a new center. They need a new small forward, or sorry, new shooting guard. Cause he's thirty one. That's kind of what you what you really draft in these next couple of years. Is a new big, a new uh, shooting guard again. 
And then a new point probably after that. Because he's 28, Walt Frazier's 30. So, yeah, you definitely need a new point. Um, and then just do it all over again. Although, really, I mean, you don't need a, a center not pressing. Really, you need a new shooting guard. Or, or a new small forward, a new point, though, for sure. Probably what they get next year. Let's see if the Knicks have any better luck with that minor switch off the bench. Finally back up to 500, though. That's, that's wild. Also, I think with the, the Wizards, I feel like their game plan got, got changed. Yeah, see, they got it. Yeah, shooters open. Shoot at will. Crash the offensive glass. Run in transition. That's, that's what they do. I did this experiment with them and the Spurs being the only team to have different stuff. So the Spurs want to pick and roll patient and get limit transition. Crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they want to do. I would have loved to watch that. I don't know why the Raptors had to lose, man. Don't know why they had to lose. Robbed us of a, of a game. The one and three Pistons versus the one and three Bucks right now, man. Victor has been doing it all for the Pistons. I feel bad for him. I really do. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Actually, let me eat. Eat, eat. That's the sound of the police.
energy drink in my system. I know I'm sick. I probably shouldn't be drinking energy drinks while I'm sick. But we need the energy, baby. We need the energy for the stream, man. All right, man, we got two one and three teams. The Pistons playing the Bucks, and um, I mean, we just gonna cut to the chase, man. This Pistons squad has been in rebuild mode pretty much from the start. An old squad. They draft Victor Wembanyama last season and still couldn't turn things around despite him being fantastic. Um, they're hoping Lamar Morrison can give them some life. Um, this this season as well, but you know it's gonna take time for him to gel. Meanwhile, the Bucks. I mean, you got Giannis, you got Kareem, you got Oscar. You know, three people who are 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 you know players you build around to to win championships. You know, and they just haven't been playing. They they get to the playoffs, they make runs in the playoffs, but they just can't pull the trigger. And this year. They're starting off one and three. Not a good look for them. They're hoping to turn things around with a good solid win at home tonight. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin mm. Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. No and surprise there, dude. Like... Be reporting from the sideline. We Eight got feet the tall. Pistons taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> and now the opening line. Yeah, Victor. Right, step He's leading them in rebounds and in scoring. And then Greg, right the now. monster dunk um, to finish it off. I mean, look at Ray Allen doing work on the inside. That's he understood the young. Although he's not so young. It's not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Look at IT. Look at him go to work. Look at him spreading the floor for him. Oh, <laughs> getting up there. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Pause oh, rewind courtesy of Coming the Mignogna, despite leading the league in rebounds. And leading this team in rebounds and points last season. Couldn't will them to the playoffs, but I mean, do a, a, a three in transition from your seven foot six, whatever size he is, center, with, with someone pretty much right on top of him. I mean, that's sick. It's a five point game. Outside Dumont. Ooh, oh, look at that. That's three. a bucket. And another three for At this point, it's a bucket. <laughs> and they're score. up to a quick 10 2 lead. So for the Bucks, their last game a loss to the Brooklyn Nets. If you're in a Bucks, bro, utilize that size you have. And utilize Giannis, bro. Giannis should be. Robertson. Should be your number one, two, and three option. Okay. The starters, he's a big mismatch with, with uh, uh, Morrison and uh, Yukic. Right? Oh, jeez. He's a big mismatch. You know, and you know he's got the, the ability to pass, and he's been working on you know, shooting from outside, from beyond the arc. Like, let him, let him eat. Get Kareem out of there. Let, let Giannis go to work. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Fires the three. Oh, Kareem, bro. And that one is off. So no he's gonna get a workout today, having to cover. On the wing. Wimbanyana, Wimby. Look at that. You, you almost have to assume Snatching boards. he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And now, oh, oh, I would say he's <laughs> <laughs> didn't stand a chance. Dude. He's seven foot, but he's, he's got the strength. Especially on the Still, but he's got the quickness of a guard. He's got the shooting ability of a guard. He's got the handling of a guard. But he still has the, the, you know, the box out ability of a big man. He still has the rebounding ability of a big man. He still has the strength and the post play of a big man. He's devastating. In the painted area, it's where Robertson can destroy you. He's just too strong 
I mean, let's do it. I would say, if that, if that went, I'd be like, yeah, this game will and now the latest. Let us don't stand a chance on that. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. I did speak with the Pistons head coach. The big o. Yeah, there you go. You know, you got two. You got a rookie on the field. Penetration. In Morris. In his, in, or Morris, and whatever his name make is. It to get um, to the front of the rim. <laughs> and you got a big don't mismatch with Giannis. Take advantage of it. Because that will not end in their favor. Right. Pass it to Giannis. Thank you, David. Why is Giannis not getting the ball in transition? Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Back to Allen. Oh, yeah, it. make him pay. Hmm. three-pointer is right on target. And this is Allen's go-to shot. Just a sensational shooter from the three-point line. Right now, the Pistons executing their game plan to a T, and that's Feed Wimby. That's their third straight make off an assist. Feed Wimby in any, any way you can. Feed him. Feed the man. The Bucks, on the other hand, they're having to adapt, but they're able to do it very quickly. And hey, they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals last season. This team is more than capable. But it's like, if you're Kareem, if, if Isaiah Thomas is able to force Kareem to foul him, then you know he's going to be in foul trouble for maybe all night. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here. You know, if you're Kareem, you cannot afford to foul anyone other than him. The dish to Thomas. Look at this. And look, now they're kind of trading off, so now it's Giannis defending Wimby. This is as good as it gets yeah, for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Having a tough time. It's kind of crazy when you talk about something so athletic, so quick, that even Giannis having a tough time keeping up. Oh, boy, he snatched that. And now he's looking to run it full court. Three in transition from your seven-foot plus. Victor Mignogna, 17 points on the night. From long distance. And to the Kumbo finds Allen. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Allen outside. And that comes off the assist by Abdul Jabbar. Allen's got seven points. And love seeing Allen go to the floater there. His touch on these shots is just unreal. Mm. That one drops for him. Defensively, uh. <laughs> giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And Milwaukee calls their first now, time Wimby. out of the game. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I might have to put a Wimby compilation of this game. He's been scorching. Now for Detroit, their last game, a loss to the Celtics in Boston. Here is Robertson. He has six. Robertson with the slam. Perfect four for four for the big O. He was doing it all there. He was mixing them. Back to Thomas. Oh my goodness. And the way he came up with that one hand, the left handed. Mm. Oh, but that's Victor. Wide open again. Could make him pay that time. And he's finally starting to slow down. Trailing here by eight. Ray Allen trying to drift outside. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this is the mismatch you need. I don't know why they were, why they didn't communicate there better. That's the, that's the exactly, if, yo, if I'm in the Bucks, bro, I get my starting five back in there. I run a pick and roll with Oscar and Giannis all night until they switch. Victor on. This is it to Bird from downtown. On, uh, he can't get it to go. And Detroit the other way. And Giannis, and, the, and then after that, I just feed it to, to Kareem down low. Pass to the bush. On you can say they got a huge mismatch. Down I don't know low. why they're not running it back. Uh oh. Uh oh. He a doesn't stand a chance. Oh wow. Danvers did not defend that. Maybe he just missed a shot. That's all it is. Bird you know he's down. human. Over to the wing. <laughs> Oh, and they got scored on by the small man. man. Okay. They still got three of their point. starters out there. Teams, this is... Score, so. Oh, no. Here's Thomas. <laughs> okay, I'm about that to say. Hey, but good on IT, though. Staying in there. Right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the Getting that, that bucket. Oh, Johnson. 
Yeah, that dude would we'll be so they long, man. The layup perfectly. He's defending the everything. Saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Hmm. Hmm. Back to Dumars. Okay. Oh, oh, good pump fake. That's it. Shot clock at oh six. man. If that had been someone like Ray Allen, Dandridge, or Steph, you know he's pulling it from the hash, wide open like that. He had time too. Oh, look, you already got time. Look at you. What a foul! You know that they're gonna sub him out, right? Yeah. So now you got uh, the Busher, you got Bill Lambeer, you got Chauncey Phillips, David Bing, Grant Hill. That's also good. So all out there for the Pistons. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. This is where they kind of the Pistons are a big liability. Phillips is when their bench is on the floor. Here's the screen mm. to the middle. Here's oh. Lanier. Ooh, the Lanier. He goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Using his size and advantage. And running the offense, Billups just understands his teammates. So this is going to be one of the few teams that this Pistons squad is going to actually have the advantage down low when their bench is on the floor. Here's winners. So they're going to want to make the most of it here tonight. Winners has got five. And he's not going to miss that sort of an Winners, though. From deep. Pulling out. Here's Hill. Grant Hill and Rob Dambridge. It doesn't go for him. Oh. And Milwaukee. Dambridge defending that post fade pretty well tonight. Johnson dishes to Burke. That's Dandridge. Now the pass to Winner. Mm -hmm. From deep. Mm -hmm. He is held in by Lanier. This thing is leading by five. 144. Uh, left for three. Ooh. Well, shots good from DeBusher. That's a making him pay. Okay. Taking shots. A quality offensive player. Bird. The pass. Dandridge. Back to Bird. Oh, it's Dandridge. I've been saying Dan Bridge. Let's go for it. Bob Dandridge. Dandridge. He thought that triple was gonna fall. Passes to Bing. I'm just now catching. That. I've been. I've been. <laughs> this dynasty for seasons, man. I've been saying Dandridge. Set the pick. Phillips passes to mm, Yeah, ran Detroit that pick and roll perfectly. And mm. gets it to go. Big the shot. Looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Two drop shot. Wow. And he didn't block it. He stole it. Clean out of the air. 46 seconds left to play in the first Oh, quarter. my. Lanier, the pass to Bing. Oh, Bing. That's a wide open. Lead. Look at him breaking Lina people down. Systematically. Yeah, they built up this lead. Three points. An 8-0 run. We'll Seize them up. They can keep this pace. Not 13 sure points here. On just the three. Mm. And he recovers it. Mm. Lanier, deep. Putting on a defensive showcase right here, man. I think he already has three blocks in the first quarter. I definitely got to see his box numbers, man. When we look at the, the box total, this is going to be the last possession. Inside. Oh, oh. Jump to finish it off. Yeah, he's definitely a takeover. Offensively, defensively, they are in Wow. Down 15. I think that the Bucks don't have what it takes. I really do. They, this is a team that went to the Eastern Conference Finals. All right, before losing to the Bulls, who ended up winning it all, okay. And I and and you're hearing me say right here, right now, I don't think they have an, enough to 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 come back from the 15 point deficit, even at home. I, I really don't. And they didn't. Yeah, an, an 11 point game. And I would, I would imagine this was blowout territory through and through. Yeah, another 14 points, up 29 and half. Uh, so, I mean, even even giving up this, the seven points, they're still up 22 points going into the fourth. I mean, it's total blowout territory. Total blowout territory. Um, and they did it 47% from threes. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. It's, it's, you know, fairly elite as far as team percentages go. 56% also fairly elite. Um, you want to see better percentages from the stripe, but I mean, it, keeping the rebound totals the same, 
Granted, the Bucks had more more offensive rebounds. The turnover differential was was a big part of it for them. But look at the bench points, man. Their their bench is who really came to life. You know, we've had you know their bench has been a weak point the past couple seasons. This season, their bench is better than it has ever been by far. And here they are finding themselves beating Eastern Conference teams. You know, even Eastern Conference Championship caliber teams on the road, so that's a good sign. Even though they're still negative right now at two and three, that's a good sign for the Pistons. They're only going to get better as the season goes along. Let's take a look, man. The Big O with twenty four points. He he finally started doing what he should have been doing, and Giannis finally got involved after having literally doing nothing in the first. Um, he could have been a could have had a much better impact on the game. Um, really, all of these guys in their top five doing everything they could have done, man. It's, it was really the, their bench was where they, you know, got exposed. Even though City Moncrief, three of nine. Like, yeah, man, you got to do something else with that. I want these percentages to be a little bit better for these guys. But, uh, I mean, they're putting up the numbers that you expect them to put up. Their bench is just you know, one of four, one of two, one of two, oh, of of two. Like, their benches where it really fell apart, and then like pretty much relatively zero stats as far as rebounds and assists, and steals and blocks. Like just you know, if you don't rebound, you don't do all the small stuff. You're not gonna get points. That's just how it is, man. Meanwhile, though, <laughs> yeah, man, dude had 17 on him in the first quarter. Uh, definitely went quiet after that, but that was pretty much all he needed to do. And three steals um, on Kareem of all people. Like this is a, a solid stat line. Um, and that opened up the door for everybody, right? Thomas had 17 points. Bing had 14 off the bench. Dumars with eight assists. Um, the Busher with, with, you know, big blocks. It didn't miss a single shot. <laughs> you know, uh, I want to see actually where's, where's Bill at four blocks on the night. Three of them were in the first quarter. So, I mean, he, he was putting on a clinic and had eight rebounds. Um, so, you know, everyone had a part and they played it. And that's they get the tough win on the road. I mean, it was basically a blowout, though. It wasn't even a tough win. It was basically a blowout. Um, they they had their assignments tonight, and they took advantage. Um, you know, they executed their game plan to perfection. Two, three, and one team. Ooh, that's that's gonna be good right here, buddy. All right, here we have. I like giving people this insight information, anyways. Um, we got the three and one Rockets versus the three and one Thunder. Russell Westbrook for both teams and James Harden for both teams have been um, key. So that matchup, seeing that both ways, is going to be good. Um, I think for OKC, you really got to stress Kevin Durant over Dawkins and. You know, Pat Bryant, Charlie Byers, this is a game where they're going to have to step up. If you're the Rockets, yo, man, <laughs> spread it out, okay? Have Akeem, have Moses eat down low. Don't be afraid if you're Russell and you're James. Don't be afraid to take shots because you know Moses and Akeem got your back on the boards. Let it rip. Go out there and play loose, play free, even on the road. Just let them fly. All right, that's that's how the Rockets are gonna have to win this one. OKC, okay, they're gonna have to do it through KD. 
let's face it, that's that's they're gonna be the bread and butter. KD's gonna have to step up, and and he's gonna have to show why he's one of the greatest scorers of all time. So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. Joining me tonight, tip off. Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian as, Anderson, as they along should. with reporter Ali LaForce. Mm. We'll see the Houston mm. Rockets facing the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now let's take a look at the Rockets opening I love watching lineup. watching these teams because uh, and Russell Westbrook pulls it down. Westbrook and Harden versus Westbrook and Harden. Passed him alone. This one for three. Mm. Harden's shot is good. I say Harden. Well, Harden will both teams all should probably eat all night. This <laughs> Harden on both teams. From the arc can be devastating. Defensive liability. So, three look at that. Harden. Oh, can't get it to go. he was a little jiggle away. The other way now. From, from that dropping. Now Harden. He was, he was a jiggle away. Oh, look at Harden. <laughs> And he jams it mm. home with authority. <laughs> Check it out. Harden putting oh my. on a show, throwing down and yeah, it's Harden. Oh, Harden on both teams. Above the rim. That <laughs> this is gonna be a Harden show right here, bro. Look, look at them. Now they're going now back at Harden. each other again. Oh. Up top, Westbrook. From deep. Oh, that's too deep. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. I know that he has the ability and confidence to, to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. Oh, you know, no. Option is Westbrook the making bad up. choices Let on both sides of the, the, the ball. Here's both teams. Harden, oh, yeah. Drops mm. in the three. Harden, Harden's got nowhere eight. to be found. It's defending so effective Harden. and efficient on the <laughs> offensive end. I mean, when Harden is Harden, not nowhere to be found. Play, it's Harden. He's finishing. Three. Now here's Westbrook. From deep. Outside Durant. Oh yeah, KD. That's there you go. And so Their Westbrook first points on the night come from KD. There. They get it going. I'm telling you, he's gonna be Always the one good for them to tonight. One. They gotta lean Westbrook on him heavy. Westbrook, three pointer, Harden, mm. and no good. And the Thunder going the other way now. I'm surprised Harden Westbrook didn't get that to be honest. To oh, the steal from Russell, clean <laughs> drive. The drive. Hey, and the monster jam. We got some flair on that one. Westbrook is vicious when attacking the rim. Three-pointer, Harden. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Harden against Harden. Westbrook outside. <laughs> Harden against Harden. It's a three-pointer. Westbrook's got his second basket on the night. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and I think they're just going to be cooking each other back and forth. Here's Harden. Harden, Harden show right here. Oh, calling for a screen on Harden. Four, Ooh. three. Fading <laughs> three. Harden misses. If he had got that to go, you would have known this was about to be a circus. To the right here. here's Ooh. Malone. Ooh, Malone. Malone. Okay. Down. Okay. Nice and breaking hey, this out rock the squad. Man, an emphatic way to extend uh, NBA the champions. Uh, two seasons ago, and we're made it about to the playoffs last year, first quarter. where nice I think they got absolutely the destroyed by the, the Spurs. The way does. Uh, you know, but they they were looking to, to get a little bit of youth uh, off the bench. You know, they had Chris Paul and a little older Chris Paul. You know, uh, they had him retire. Good idea had a couple the older away. people in their the lineup was just all and over. couldn't quite take it all the way like they did the season before. So, you know, they're hopeful for this season, man. Dawkins, they said, has only gotten better. You know, last year, all year, it was kind of back and forth between him and Tracy McGrady. This this year, it's just him. Now here's Westbrook. Uh, you know, so they, they said he stepped up and elevated his game. In a major way. And there's a whistle. He'll head to man, the line to shoot two. Stop it man. goes on Russell Westbrook. Unfortunately, you can't stop him. Foul. Westbrook a stat stuffer, but for him at this stage of his career, it's about trying to win titles. And that's mm. good as he hits both shots. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Harden with a 
the screen on Westbrook. Westbrook can't hit. Westbrook against Westbrook. Shoots over Westbrook. That went a little long. Hey, Westbrook against Westbrook. Shoots over Westbrook. <laughs> Durant's shot is off. And Westbrook with the defense. This whole <laughs> Unable to sustain any kind Man, of saying they got to do it through KD, but he's been one of four. Pass to Malone. Here's Dawkins. Yeah, if you're the Rockets, he, they kind of had to know that was coming. They've defended them pretty, pretty well. The now they're up. The story of this game. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. Here. You can Harden off the ooh, in a hurry. off the screen. Surprisingly, though, Harden, Harden caught through the screen. Five. Oh, and a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. And a good, yeah, I say a good defensive play to disrupt the lob there. And here's Dawkins. Now Dawkins. Mm. And the oh, nice easy Westbrook. lay. Westbrook oh, and he's cradling him. him. He's cradling himself. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're mm. way out in front. Here's Dawkins. And the Rockets hit again from deep. Dude. <laughs> they are letting those threes fly from outside. Really in a great rhythm. Timeout call. Rockets. It's, under. it's time to talk this over and yeah. try to put a stop to this. Run. I'm surprised OKC right didn't now, call timeout. It timeouts. feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. I mean, you're down 17 here. Yeah, yeah, 17. I mean, if it gets to a 21 point lead, we just sim it. On defense, on back, they, they've been skunked. 17 point game. And for his offense, so this it's like, has just been a brutal period. I mean, this would be the, the first skunk of the season here. And here's Harden. Takes oh, three. wow, that's deep. But he has it. They're up 20. Very effective so far. A successful a defensive effort it's here. And it's helped them build and see us simming this before we even see the bench aggressive. hit the floor now here's for either team, which is crazy. For his first basket still in this one. To me, there's a fine and, line. And yeah, Westbrook has gone absolutely cold. It. His inability to and make sure. Meanwhile, on the other end, Westbrook is on fire. Westbrook, and yeah, they go yeah, up 23 heart. there. That's uh that's gonna lead in the early sim the first sim of uh, the first early sim the first skunk i should say of the season <laughs> Time um, to i'd be very surprised if okc came back and won but they did wow wow so maybe them being so bad actually saved them the computer simming as much of it as we did the sim maybe got got that little advantage slowly they they had enough time to catch them on the big end you know but um that was wild that, this is actually a wild result. This, if this game didn't go to OT, I'd be very surprised. They were 37 and 19 the first quarter. They gave up, okay, maybe eight of those points, seven of those points back. They're still up 11 and a half. All right. They're still up nine in the fourth quarter. This is blowout territory. And somehow they go out there, they shoot a whopping zero. Talk about, talk about choking. Zero percent from from beyond the arc in the in a whole quarter of basketball. Nine attempts, zero makes from beyond the arc. That's the game right there. If just one of those drop, they go to OT. If two of those drop, if they shoot an abysmal two of a nine from beyond the arc, they still win this game. So obviously, that's what we're gonna have to take a look at here. That's that's the sole reason they lost this game, and we got to take a look at that immediately. Let's let's go to the e fourth quarter numbers. First of all, why didn't Westbrook or Harden take a single three? Dawkins going 0 of five. Once you go 0 of three, he should have been done in the fourth. Okay, he should have been done. He should have been red lighted. No more threes for you, buddy. Why is, why is Elijah Wan? Why why is Elijah Wan taking a, a three pointer? And then Tracy McGrady missing his only attempted three. That's surprising. Who else though? Steve Francis going zero of two. That's surprising as well. 
I think if, if Steve makes one, McGrady makes one, that's that's the game. The game's the other way. But you don't want to, bl- I mean, you don't want to blame it on two guys off the bench, right? You want to say, why the heck is Elijah Wan shooting them? Why is Dawkins shooting five of them, right, and not making them? And why didn't Westbrook or Harden shoot any? All these three-point attempts that you had, nine of them in the quarter, you know, it's a pretty hefty amount. You're drawing these plays up, and not a single one of them was for Westbrook or Harden. That seems crazy to me. That seems that seems egregious. But let's take a look at the, at the total game. Westbrook started out on fire, finished with 21. James Harden even had a double double on the night. Why <laughs> why were these guys more involved in the fourth quarter? They didn't foul out, did they? No, not even close. Why weren't they more involved in the fourth quarter? You had a blowout. Did you rest them or something? <laughs> Did you think you had the game in hand and you didn't? And you were just too proud to put him back? What what happened? I I, I gotta know. I really gotta know. I mean Moses six or seven. He he get, he executed the game plan well. Elijah won a miserable four of eleven. But it it shouldn't have mattered. It shouldn't have mattered. They were up so big. It shouldn't have mattered. Wow. Um. Meanwhile actually getting outscored <laughs> by Westbrook just crazy because he had zero in the first quarter. He was 0-5. So he flips the script, comes back. Durant gets off 17. Ray Allen had 16 off the bench with a, a fantastic four or five from beyond the arc. Um, but not, they didn't even really, nobody even really did anything special for, for OKC. <laughs> Other than, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Sean Kemp was perfect. You know, three or three on the on the few shots he took. Like, I mean, yeah, and these guys were one on one and had a couple other decent stats as well. And oh, Byers did have four steals and three blocks, which I guess is pretty, pretty solid. Um, three blocks for Sean Kemp as well. But I mean, like rebound wise, no one had an elite number rebound wise. No one had elite numbers assist wise, um, except maybe Gary Payton off the bench with eight. And he had three steals. You, you know, you had a few people that had some good uh, defensively. They had a night forcing turnovers, getting blocks defensively, especially in that fourth quarter. They were off the hinges and that's what won him the game. So I got to give him respect to that. But how, how you go? O of nine. It is look when you go to this man, he doesn't even have a highlight because he did nothing in the first quarter. And he's their leading scorer on the game. You should beat a team that does that. How do you go 0 of 9 in the fourth quarter? 0 of 9? I, I, we got to look at it again, bro. <laughs> 0 of 9. At that point, you got to think. At, at some point, once you get like 0 of 5 as a team, you got to think, okay, let's change it up. Let's just attack them. Right? They're they're trying to come back. Let's, let's hey, let's get free. Let's get to the line. They only went to the line once. O of nine. You, they couldn't do anything. Not a thing. The bench differential. 